What's up, everyone? It's Christina from the Glazer Tutoring Company, and today we're going to find the sum or the difference of this beautiful polynomial. Okay, so in this case, first let's identify whether we're going to find the sum or the difference. Now we have 12x squared plus 3x, and we're going to subtract with 8x squared minus 19. Is this a sum or a difference? Are we adding, right, a sum is always addition, so are we adding or are we subtracting? Ah, you were correct, we are subtracting, right, we're taking these two uh, values, right, these two term guys, and we're going to subtract them. So we're definitely taking a difference here, we're subtracting. All right, well now the question is, how do we do that? Well, first what I would highly suggest is any time that you are subtracting with polynomials, what I would do is I would reverse this into addition. So for differences or for subtractions, you are going to just basically turn it. Ooh, and we're going to say turn it, turn it into addition. Well, how do we do that? Well, the first thing is I like to turn it into addition because adding is much easier than subtracting for majority of the world, right? Myself included. I love to add stuff. It's easier for me to go up in number than to go down in number. Now, keep in mind that this is a subtraction, right? But technically, secretly, there is a hidden one value here, right? In front of this parenthesis. I only have one of these. So what we can do is we can treat this as like a multiplication, where I'm just going to multiply this negative one, minus one, with the eight x squared, but you gotta be fair. We're also gonna times the negative one by the 19, or negative 19 in this case. So by doing that, we're gonna take that negative and turn it into a positive value, and we're going to be adding the terms together. So let's see what that looks like. Now, when we start doing this, we don't really have to use the parentheses anymore. So what I would do is I would just take them down. So we're not doing anything with the first parentheses, right? 12x squared plus 3x, that just stays. But I do notice that I have an x squared value and an x. Now with adding and subtracting polynomials, these are two different terms. So don't be tempted to add these two values together. They do not go together. All x squareds will go together, and just the x values will go together. So in this case, I'm going to color them differently. We'll say that I have 12x squared, and then I have plus 3x, so we'll do that in blue. Now let's work on this one. Negative 1 times 8x squared is negative 8x squared, right? When you're multiplying with your numbers, you just worry about the numbers. Don't worry about the variables here. Now, since this is an x squared value, just like the first one, right? And maybe what I'll do is we'll color this in, x squared, x squared. I'm going to uh, color it in black. So this would be minus x or 8x squared because the negative one makes this positive 8 now a negative, minus. Okay, and then let's do the next one. We have a negative one times a negative 19. Take that negative one, times it by negative 19, that's a positive value. So now I have plus 19. And now I have everything written out, no parentheses, and now we're ready to rock and roll. Now this is the fun part. Well, the whole thing is the fun part, right? But simplifying, I like the best. Now, with polynomials, the only things that we can simplify are the guys with the same terms. So look out for your x squareds and your x's and just your variable and just your numbers, the one that don't have any x's. Now, for this case, right, we do have 12x squared. And then I got a negative 8x squared. Pay attention to that minus. It's not a positive value, it's a negative. So I'm going to basically take these two. And all we have to do is just the numbers. The terms just come along for the ride. So 12 minus 8, right? 12 minus 8 is what? 
Six, I think. That's 14. 12 minus 8 is what? Four? <laughs> you caught me there. You caught me. So, remember in the beginning when I said I like to go up in number and not down? This is a great chance to show you that. <laughs> so, we got, I think it's six, isn't it? No. It's four. Four x squared. I am also a little bit under the weather, so maybe, maybe we'll say it's that. So 12 minus 8 is 4. And then just the x squareds, they go with x squareds. You don't have to do anything with that. Now, see if you have any other of the same variables that we're going to put together. But just the x's, those are in blues, right? They don't go with this red guy. The numbers just stay the same. So in this case, I don't do anything else. I can't simplify the 3x and I can't simplify the 19. So we're just going to bring it together. So plus 3x minus, or no, just kidding, plus 19. And that is your final sum. So in this case, whee, let's box this off. And that is the answer. What do you think? Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you in more uh, questions. And maybe, you know, just to kind of add this here, this one just goes here, and this one just goes here, just to kind of show you. And wonderful. Okay, now we're officially done. <laughs> so thank you so much uh, for viewing the video. Thanks for being part of this community. You guys rock. And as always, I'm always rooting for you. I hope you do well on those quizzes and tests. And as always, have a great, great day, all right? And I'll, I'll catch you in the next one, all right? Bye-bye.